What's up, guys? Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes. I have a confession to make. Um, so typically, what happens is Tower of Oblivion, or sorry, Tower Dream opens every once in a while. Uh, we kind of put it off to be like, oh, I'll make some videos of our Tower Dream when it comes to you know Sunday, and then I totally forget to do it. So people have already cleared depth 21, and I'm about to do depth 18 because yes, you've done the math right. I've missed about. I missed two weeks since the expansion. I missed the week before the expansion came out. And because I didn't beat 15 the week before it came out, I couldn't unlock 16. So we're going to do it here today. And we're just going to crush through it. Everything's in divine power too. I can't believe we've done this. <laughs> I can't believe we've just gone. Oh my goodness. Such the wrong direction. We just keep forgetting to do it. So what we're going to do from now on. I'm going to try to do it on Fridays, and that's mainly because uh, it's usually event day Friday, so I try to get all the event videos out, but in reality, you can see how easy this should be. Like, I even forget to just smash it on Sunday, because usually Sunday is our family day, so we I barely spend any time really doing content or anything like that. But as you guys can see, yeah, we just suicided our Vulcan into that reflect damage, but I mean, look at that. Look at that, keeping our five-star level ones alive. Look at him go. Or actually, I think that man might have been level two, but hey, uh, it's, it's not much of a challenge. We're pretty much just sticking every up hero in in combination with our Doom Terminator Vulcan and our Hyperspace Hunter Islamok for some survivability. But in reality, even the suboptimal round one active with the melodic strings is just crushing the enemy team with like no problem whatsoever and it feels bad because we should be up there at depth 21 right now but instead we're going to be at depth 18 just because of my sheer forgetfulness maybe we could call it negligence but it's definitely forgetfulness what's happening here Oh, but you guys can see this is probably one of the easiest things to farm right now and the downside of that is too I've been missing out on treasure train shards as well because as you guys know you get treasure train shards from this every week and it's not that I haven't been progressing the levels I haven't been doing it period so I haven't been getting any of these lucky treasure chest charms the pendant uh, and the red one I forget the name of the red one we'll see it here when we get to the nightmare levels oh no. We've been dubbed. That's not good. Um, wow, EOS actually did a little bit of damage there. Impressive. Oh my god, we got dubbed again. We might actually not one-tap this. Oh my god, do we not have CC removal? Wait, we do. Okay. Just don't, just don't dub me. Oh my god. <laughs> we could lose this one, actually. Because they're going to have a lot of Amon Ra layers up, too, for shielding. Oh wait, never mind. Hyperspace on our Isle Mock kind of took care of it. Oh, here we go. It took five rounds, but we got the kill. <laughs> Good lord. Hyperspace on Alamok coming in huge there, actually. Knocking a bunch of those saved up shields. Now, this one, we really need to win in round one. Otherwise, they're going to speed swap, and they could keep us doves. Well, actually, no. They're faster than us anyway, aren't they? Yeah, Olivia's not that big of a deal then. <laughs> if we're already doing that. Uh, Mim actually doing a little bit of damage. Surprising. Nice. Uh, on to level 10 here. This is a weird wave. I never thought these three heroes would be put in the same wave together, but I guess they do occasionally. But again, we're just doing full up here. Full up levels, so we're able to clear out and get the maximum bonus reward, which is what I like to see. Another active again. All these extra resources. Not a ton. I mean, toolboxes is a ton. Uh, actually, it is. It's almost double the rewards. Man, I didn't even realize it was double the rewards at this point almost. Maybe we'll say like 75% rewards. That's still really good though. Uh, this is going to be the weakest round one team I have ever seen. Vulcan. I mean, the only thing that would make it weaker is they were also like Russells. <laughs> Goodbye. Anyway, let's keep going on to 12. This is an assassin wave. These are all pretty Garbo assassins. Yep, you're gone. We're on to another assassin. This is like a mesmerized stun type team. It's weird. Luckily, though, there's no crowd control that should hit us. They all go for the lowest HP targets, which means they won't even go for our main two. And then a boom. 
gone so let's keep clearing oh man this could actually like if your team wasn't super powerful i mean actually it's still kind of bad because we got taunted right there and the marax is probably going to melt us in round two wait a minute what just happened there did we kill the taunted unimax on our first uh, uh, hit application and then once the taunt targets down we just attack everybody holy cow all right burn team right here eos is gonna land all those burns kathuga's gonna explode them all not going to matter, though, because they are all going to be dead. Yep, that's correct. On to stage number one. Now, this is where it gets tricky. We got some Divine Power 3 here. Um, do, 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 whatever. Uh, uh, we want to get rid of Demon Outburst. That's one of the most difficult ones to deal with, especially if you're trying to go with like all your up heroes. Uh, now, we can't put the Mim in. That's fine. We'll just go with a little more power. <laughs> We'll just go with our little fan favorite, Lord of Fear Aspen over here. We did get feared, which means we're not going to be able to crit. But I don't think it's going to really matter when we have this much damage between the two heroes. Should be good. Uh, let's see what this one has. Kind of just want to have them less have less armor, I think. Because if they have less armor, that means there's a better chance that we can just finish this in round one. Don't have to worry about the dread puppets messing up our active skills. Ooh, there's an up arrow. What's that up? I don't think I've ever seen that up arrow on Vulcan before. Have I just not? I've never paid attention? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Doom Terminator Vulcan versus Vulcan. Uh, ally with the highest HP takes 12% more damage received. Uh, let's just not let them block. That sounds pretty good, especially since we have a lot of precision. Don't think this is going to be an issue. Yeah, I guess I've just never noticed the up arrow. Oh, and that's the up arrow. It's on the circle. I've just never seen just the up arrow. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> it's just I'm catching one little thing here. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't want them critting me. I definitely don't want them critting me since they are assassins. <laughs> <laughs> because that would be really, really bad. Granted, we're still going to lose much heroes, but it doesn't really matter. I think Vulcan, yeah, Vulcan's going to kill pretty much the sword flashes anyway. So now just onto the annoying one where we lose one of our buffers here. Uh, when an enemy's HP is lower than 50%, I don't think that matters, but we'll just do it anyway. And let's do one little change here. Take you out, throw the up hero back in. So we're just back to the Doom Terminator Vulcan. Hopefully we can win this. yep <laughs> we sacrifice him but yeah so i mean these are really easy it's just the fact we keep forgetting to do them and uh yeah we're not even ranked because everybody should be on depth 21 that actually pays attention to their weekend schedule but i somehow don't uh so let's just cash in all these things here now we got these we got these and we can do some little upgrades in the treasure train taking us from 7792 probably not gonna be much 781 yeah we got 2000 more attack but hey 2000 here every and there and all over the place means our heroes are going to keep getting even stronger and stronger uh we got a bunch of like 20 million attack heroes I guess the one thing that we can check because we did get a lot of resources here as well. There's probably more upgrades to be had on the island here. Three more here. Two more here. And yeah, they just kind of stack up really fast before you even know it. And then you can upgrade them even more. Master toolboxes should not be an issue, especially since part of this week's event is the summer melody. And as you guys see, we're going to have a lot of chests to have. And each chest has 15. Uh, we're actually going to get a lot of spiritual lessons and those as well. Those less important. This very important. This is this is super important because, again, I want to start getting Betty cores. Uh, and I want to actually build Betty as part of our team as well. I think she's going to be our sixth householder whenever that happens. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.